dance for the Norwegians and they really need to lay it down. And Jengis here, he can absolutely take it out right here or take them both out by sticking it into the fence. Well, <laughs> you know, so yeah. th this is that pressure well, moment. He looked, there looks a little bit of worry over there on the hill, so I'm just looking, uh, looking through. So let's see. They're doing an interview in between it too, so there's obviously a bit of sledging going on between the races. Oh, they are. They have been sledging one another all day, and the uh, and the director and the camera crew have uh, come via every now and again and asked me to throw my two cents worth in. That'll won't make the final cut. Too many swear words for there, I would have thought. But oh, have a look at Jengis. He is off. Oh. And Dean Riddick doing the navigational journeys. The drone following close behind. Look at the drone. It is absolutely flying after. By G, by Crikey, by Jengis. By Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's well, a mouthful. As he no, is it a game? Is it one of those things? Is the oh, tower got a flag. To collapse? We've got a flag come off and floating in the water. Look out, it's just floating. It's one blowing off. Hopefully he'll get through this run. He's about to go through it in the jet. Oh, oh, he just, just ripped it, it up. He's just ripped it up. We might have to grab that. It's landed by the island after this run. So, I'll tell you what, the man that they named a tower after has run it super wide, but he didn't bog it down. These Norwegians have come on song. i tell you what, for rookies, I'm so impressed with how they're going. This is awesome. Oh, he's got two of breast bumping and jumping. He's got, he needs a whole bra here because this thing is all over the shop. He brings us through. He didn't get the flag up the grill, which is a great start. At a 56.374 there for Jengis. Hopefully someone uh, sees that flag. 56.374. Looks like Chewy's onto it. If we can go and get that flag recovered, we don't want to get it sucked up a grill because it will get caught. Yep, we have someone bailing in there. All Looks right, so like that's an opportunity for us to take another quick break. You go and restart that dart. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Cave, he's beside himself. He, he was jogging out to restart that dart, and next minute the flag's back up. And we're yeah, back I, was, I was nearly getting that breath of fresh air that I uh, so enjoy. But anyway, we are back to racing because the racing is what is it all about. And uh, Jeremy from Shot360 doing some fantastic work as well. So this is a third time lucky. The boys are from Bell Clutha. It is Andrew Craig and Scott the Gooey Goo Man. Oh, look, he really needs to let it rip here. The Deep South, the team, what do we call them? The Southern Squirters down there. The whole team's here. There's a couple not running today, but let's hope Scott the Goo Man can get it running and keep it going. Andrew Craig behind the wheel. Andy Fair up at this moment. They do come up from the south these days uh, with a plethora of them. They just on the big march forward, trying to take over the North Island, trying to take over jet spreading up here. And I tell you what, they're acquitting themselves beautifully because they are really starting to knock on the door of the boys from the new North Island that have really uh, quite often taken the chocolates as far as north and south go. But geez, third time lucky, looking good out there at the minute. Yeah, he's coming home strong here. He, he's gonna need to put everything down. It's gonna be really tight as he brings her across the line. Gets a 53-6, so he's he's on the board. I mean, anything can happen from here. We know they can come out, they can get stuck. So he's got a time on the board, it all counts. But it does go to three. Yeah, absolutely. So what we are gonna see here now is some very exciting driving because with the last chance to dance to get into the top three, they really just have to throw everything at it. So uh, Dave Allison, uh, the navigator for Richard Murray, he's putting all sorts of stuff on Facebook and I still don't think he's lifted his hand to help Richard as far as track rotation goes. I think he's too scared. He's a nervous wreck. I reckon he's got no fingernails left. If you take those <laughs> gloves off and have a look, mate. Wouldn't you be? <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> look, Richard, like we said before, Richard Murray, uh, he broke a navigator's eardrums, a knee and a wrist. I don't think, I struggle getting in the ute with him. <laughs> Oh no, good times. I'm not even sure that I get an merry go round with him on the opposite side, to be fair. We've only got a few to go, and I t here we go. Looks like I'm trying to work out he's coming off there now. It will. Craig Shaw, no, he's no, out. No, 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 he's out. It'll Carl, be Carl Bresnell. Bresnell. Oh, right, eh? He's been going that quick, he blew the stickers off earlier on, so he's running with a nude boat at the moment, Carl. Another one from the deep south. Let's see what he can do. 
Yeah, look, it's uh, it's been interesting, and this boat, it looks quicker now, but sort of sometimes you wonder whether it's at its full capacity or not. And because he drives so smoothly, quite, oh, oh. no, it's cut out, and that is the end of Carl Brenzel and Hamish Murray for the day, because it is the sudden death eliminations. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Carl Brenzel and Hamish Murray while we get Scruffy, the tugboat, the rescue boat out there to do some work. Wah, 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 wah. What did I say to you about uh, the game of attrition and what happens now? The finals, we get down here, and this is exactly what happens. We have one spin out, come out. So you've just got to get a time. You just need to be in the time to be in it to win it. And, and look, Carl had uh, the engine just coughed a little bit in the last qualifying run in that same spot. So that is a gremlin. Yeah, right. He'd be disappointed with that. Righto, guys, we could be a couple of minutes. Cavey, this time you might be able to restart that dart. We'll be back, a little song, and we'll be on it. Okie dokie, we are back. Sam Gray, wire rapper. Sam Gray and Mike Allen. And of course, these boys have been charging hard. He just needs a clean run here, Kobe. Yeah, they do because, uh, look, these guys have been right up the top end of the field all day. And if everything goes well from that, we'll see them in the top three because the way we're looking at it, the Norwegians, uh, with the times that they're being producing, won't be quick enough to get into that top three. Carl Brenzel's already out. So it is really just a step that he's got to do to take, just to make sure that he secures that spot. Don't do anything silly, because this is not the time of the day you need to do that. If he's thought about all of those elements. He's carrying good boat speed. He's got that boat really trimmed up. Pulled out of the gas here, but nicely gets around that air, and he doesn't have to do anything silly, but this is still going to be a really good tight run. Sam, he's just improving every time I see him. That's a really old rig he's driving, but have a look how much air you can see under the, the bow of that boat. He's got it trimmed right up with a couple of Coke cans, I'd say. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Sam Gray, across the line with a 51.212. That will see him move into the top three. He's on top of the leaderboard at the moment for this top six. So with that time, he has secured a top three spot and we found a card, or well, we had a card handed in. We have. So over there, uh, over at the TNC food shop over there, which have been great all day, we have had a card and it's a TSB card handed into us. Uh, if post card only. So if someone wants to find their way over to the commentary box here and uh, tell us who you are, we will give you your card back. We oh. do have your name on the card. Yes, we do. Uh, Bryce and Kylie Barron now. And this, I reckon, we'll see Bryce really put into it. Look at that. That start, he's very confident. Oh, this wire wrapper crew, you know, we just saw Sam Gray out there. And, of course, Bryce and Kylie absolutely dealing to it. 
the boat looks more settled this time around. It looks like he's actually charging. He looked relaxed, too relaxed earlier. Yeah, look, I think that he's really decided to put the pace on because he knows. But also, he's, he's not silly. He will be knowing all he needs to do is a reasonable time to get into the top three. So he's not going to risk everything at this point, given that Carl Bretzel is out. So, but mind you, he's just made a meal of the hairpin and he really struggled to drive that into the next channel. Yeah, that's that road wave. He just hit the gas a bit earlier, launched him, give him a bit of air. He's still going to put a tidy time down, but he's going to need every bit of it to get around here. 51. So he has got himself into P2. He's done well. He's snuck himself in there. I tell you what, boy, Jinkies. He's, he's right there, just going there racing sardine. He's actually not doing too bad at yeah, the Yeah, yeah, geez, he's, uh, he was just tapping on. He's only point, uh, two six or something, uh, 2.6 seconds slower than these other guys. And this is his first time on the track. So, and I dare say now we only have Nikolai, the other flying sardine. Well, we've got two sardines, but it's Chris Rasmussen. Right, of the course, professionals, yes, my, my mistake, yes. Is he going to sneak his way in here? We've just had the two war rapper boys, but this this is it, the professionals, real estate, Chris Rasmussen, Holly, Sutherland. They need to beat a 53.6 to progress. And he's up it. Let's get behind the local. We want to see him in the final. So far, so good. And Chris has been nailing this hairpin very, very well. And that is where he's gaining time, as well as the smooth driving that we're seeing. So if he's going to make it in, it'll all be about that hairpin. If he nails it like he's been doing every time, he will carry that boat momentum to dislodge the other lot and secure that top three spot. Chris and Holly, very focused. They're very, very polished at their work and they push hard and they play hard. Here it is, here's the money corner. Looking good so far, nice, nice yep. and light on the juice. That's all you got to do. Oh, and he's oh. hit the crosswash. Oh, I thought that was all over. That was a big thump into the crosswash, and he eased off it as well. Got out of it, but what's it done to his time? What's it going to do? Is one of the sardines going to get out of the can? Oh, he gets himself in there and sneaks right in there. Chris Rasmus and P2, so that crosswash really, really didn't do too him. much. But yeah. it, it, look where he would have been. He would have been in P1 if he hadn't copped that big first fall. Yeah, that's right. So that puts Bryce Barron on the bubble if Nikolai the ram is he gonna ram his way through and into this top three well at the moment he's got the wood on Jenga Jenga is gonna be doing the solo undy nothing because there's no money at the end of it for him yeah it's all on here Jenga's looking a little bit concerned actually when you yeah the tower on Jenga is starting to topple it's gonna fall well Let's see, he's going to get calm water too, so they're just going to take their time. Obviously, the, there's a little bit of nerves. The claps are going. Here he comes. And good work from Kyle Patrick and Amanda Thompson down there over oh. from America, helping out the Norwegians along with everybody else. They've had so much support. But the time that Nikolai needs to beat is a 56.37 that Jenga has laid down. Now, Jenga's over there. He's clapping him, but he doesn't want him to do well. Aaron Riddick, the navigator. He's got Michael Jackson's glove on. Look at the drone chasing them. Boy, Jenga's by crikey, he's clapping. He's going, get into it, son. Oh, yeah, Nikolai. Oh, look, I tell you, Nikolai, I'm just so wrapped these guys have come over. They pushed one another really hard all day. And Nikolai, the man who is the Juno, the host of the wonderful world of sports. Oh, he had a little bit of a moment there. He had a thought, he had a double think. Oh, she's jumping around, two boobs, needs to be in a bra. But it is all starting to come right now as he heads to the hairpin. Oh, oh spins it out. Oh, Jenga, oh, Jenga is going to take the win. Look at, look at this. <laughs> Big, Jenga is pumped. He's just saved his undies. Oh, Nikolai like... is going to be doing the uh, the hundy undy without the hundy at the end. <laughs> it might be a chundy. Yeah. Does he be a bit dizzy <laughs> after that? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, it looks like Chewy or someone lost their cap trying to gallop in there to rescue <laughs> poor old Nikolai. And it looks like Aaron Riddick, he might be getting wet feet out there too. So well done, guys. It's been great to have you here and uh, so much fun. And look at this. Give them a big round of applause, guys. These guys all the way from Normie, Norway. Been absolute classics all day to come here and jump in a boat and do this. And I tell you what, they haven't done themselves 
any no, they have, they have, and they it's they been have unbelievable. Not themselves at all. So out of the Norwegians it is Jenga and Dean Riddick that have taken the win. So Dean's taken the wood over Aaron. And uh, <laughs> Jenga's <laughs> taken the win over Nikolai. And that is the, yeah, well, that is going to be broadcast right to a million people. A wonderful yeah. world of sport over there in Norway. G'day, Norway. I'm Caveman. I'm hanging out with Shrek. And we want to see more of you Norwegians over here in the land of the long white clouds and check out what we get up to Mate, over here. You've got some quick racing sardines you always have. And I tell you what, this has been great to see. But you couldn't ask for a better finish than that. How was that? The hairpin. When you, that's why it's there. That's why I put it in. It is the money corner. And it so, got him. We are off the basis of that. We've got Bryce Barron, Chris Rasmussen and Sam Gray uh, heading into the top three. And Nook Nikolai, I'll tell you what, he's out there. Give him a wave, guys. Give him guys. a wave, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a massive round of applause. He put it down. Look at the drone gun right beside him, man. Come on, get him behind him. These guys, this is, they're getting on a plane and going home tomorrow. I was talking to them. They're actually getting on a plane in the morning and heading back to Norway. Yeah, they only flew 20-odd hours to get here on Wednesday. Yeah. Then no. been here, or oh, 30, was it all up? And uh, that's not including trying to get to the airport, get out of the airport, because that adds up another 10 hours to it. So then they've come here, they've probably got their eyeballs rolling in their head, they've got jet lag, come out, right, oh, there's a jet sprint boat, oh my God, do I have to work out how to do that? They've come out here, they haven't disgraced themselves, in, in fact, they've done... Done uh, themselves one proud. Yeah, they've done <laughs> themselves incredibly proud. Uh, but I'll tell you, this camera crew that they've come with from the wonderful world of sports will be so happy the day's over. They have been running around like they've probably done more steps than a marathon runner. Oh, <laughs> you're right there. But I tell you what, I've never seen so many smiles, so many claps. And they're going home in one piece. And to really boot, uh, you've got to take your hat off to Nick Candish, who loaned that boat. Nick Candish from Whanganui loaned his boat to this team, two teams to double drive it, come here, he risked everything, all that to give the sport a bit of a laugh and to give these guys a show. So, Nick Candice, you've done yourself proud. Give him a clap. Nick yeah, Candice, you're a man. Absolutely. Well done, Nick. What a That's Kiwi. Fantastic effort. But that gives us an opportunity, does it, to... Uh, no, it doesn't, because they're going to start another boat in a minute, aren't they? Yeah, mate. No more darts. You